Before getting scrubbed, you need to ensure that you have your gown packet open, having made sure that there are no tears in the wrapper or the seal and the sterility expiry date is not expired. Turn the water on so that you end up running it at the correct temperature for you. Having ensured that you are wearing the correct theatre attire and personal protection in the form of a face mask with visor, according to the hospital's trust. Once you have got the water at the correct temperature for you, you may need to use a nail brush, but you may not depending on whether this is your first scrub of the day. You need to ensure that the antiseptic solution of about 5 mils is put in your hand and spread across your hands and your arms all the way up to the crease in your elbow. You then need to do the six steps you would normally do for hand hygiene except where it would normally be wrists you need to extend this up to the elbow. Having completed the six steps the first time round, you need to put your hands back underneath the water to rinse. Fingers will be above the elbow. This is your social hand wash. If you are using a scrub brush, this time on the second wash, you can use the nail brush if your nails are visibly contaminated. However, if you do not need to, then you don't need to worry about using the scrub brush. There is also a small pick in the packet with the nail brush. This is to help you remove anything that is visible. Please ensure that this is put in a sharp spin before you continue. The sponge is to be used for the rest of your skin. This exfoliates the first layer of your skin and ensures that you have a nice clean area. When you have finished scrubbing with the brush, please dispose of it in the black domestic waste bag. When rinsing your arms and hands, please ensure that your fingers are higher than your elbows as the water runs downhill. When rinsing your hands, let the water run down your hands and then using a corkscrew direction, allow it to run around both sides of your arms. If you find that you have any area still with soap on, come out and then go back up to where it is and go back into the water. That way water is not pushed up your arm and therefore causing dirty water to go to a clean area. You then need to do a third wash. This time you need to put the five mils of solution over your hands, spread it across your hands and your arms, but this time you want to go about an inch below where your elbow crease is so that if you do accidentally use your thumb higher, you won't be contaminating your hand. You again need to do the six steps and again where it would normally be wash your wrists you will need to use up to the elbow instead. You will then need to rinse your hands again, exactly the same as the first time. Fingertips first, ensuring that your hands are clear of all soap, and then all the way up to your elbow. If you have any solutions left on your hands, this may make it uncomfortable for you while you are scrubbed. 
So please ensure all soap is removed. After you have scrubbed, go round to where your gown is. Take one of the two sheets for drying your hands. Open it up. Ensure that you do it at arm's length so that you do not accidentally contaminate the sheet with your own clothes. And using a corkscrew direction, having dried all your fingers first, work your way down your arm. You then take the second sheet open it up and again at arm's length dry your hands and then in the corkscrew method go down to your elbows once you have reached your elbow each time do not touch your sheet just drop it straight in the black domestic waste otherwise you may contaminate the other hand pick the gown up and take two steps back and then holding the neckline allow the rest of the gown to drop down you need to put, hold on to the top of the gown at the neck and then slide your hands into the armholes so that you may put your gown on correctly. Do not do one side then the other as you may con accidentally contaminate your hand with the cuff that's already in. Someone will then help you by pulling the gown back up over your shoulders and tying the back of your gown. Once your gown is tied up, open your glove packet that you've previously opened when you did it at the beginning. Put your dominant hand's glove on the dominant hand with your fingertips at directioned towards the elbow, but your thumb to your thumb. Hold the cuffs and then slide it over the top. Then do the other hand. Again, thumb to thumb fingers to elbow, slide over the top and pull on. Once you have both gloves over the cuffs, you can then adjust it to make it comfortable. Ensure that the cuff of the gown is covered completely by the glove to prevent accidental contamination by blood and bloody fluids. As the gown is protective, the cuffs are not. You need to twirl to cover your back. So hand out the long tie and card to the person assisting you. Don't forget to hold the short end. Once you have twirled, pull the long tie back whilst the assistant holds the card. Then tie a bow at your side. Not a knot as you may be unable to undo this at the end of the operation. You are now ready to go into theatre. Your sterile area is armpit to groin level and either side not under your armpits as these may be contaminated. Keep your hands together in the sterile area when not in use.